Hey, what's up, Cub fans? Welcome to another episode of Talking Cubs. I'm your host, Ryan Davis, and I'll be joined in a moment by Sean Sears. We're talking about some surprising Cubs spring training news. Ian Happ, uh, a really rough spring training for him, and it sounds like he's going to be starting at AAA this year. Sean, uh, were you really surprised when you heard that news? It seems like the Cubs are holding true on their accountability line. Yeah, exactly. I, I was definitely surprised. Um, I just kind of assumed Ian Happ was a guy that was going to be on this roster for now and for the foreseeable future just because of how quickly he's brought up and him sticking around for the last two years. So um, it was interesting. I guess when you look at the numbers and kind of recognize how poorly Happ has been at the plate these last couple of weeks um, in spring training as well as towards the end of last year, um, it wasn't great. I mean, even just looking at his splits, he was definitely a guy that struggled a ton in that second half. So I, I guess it makes sense to an extent. I'm just personally not sold if, you know, the the idea is to get him consistent playing time that makes sense, but I don't know if it really helps seeing AAA pitching for, you know, maybe a month or so. It, maybe it helps him get him on track, but I'm, I'm not sold on that idea quite yet. Yeah, I'm not really either. Uh, I think we know that Ian Happ can master AAA pitching. Uh, I, I do like the idea of him playing every day. Uh, because he wasn't going to play every day in the big leagues this year. Uh, if you imagine a scenario where he's on the roster, um, yeah, Albert Almora has been tearing the cover off the ball in spring training. Obviously, spring training stats don't really matter, but uh, Almora came into camp leaner. He looks a little faster. He, he switched up his swing a little bit, so he's heading for more power. Uh, you know, Just pulling up the stats right now, Almora looks like he's hitting – uh, 388 uh, with a 388 on base, so he hasn't walked a single time. But he's uh, he's struck out four times in 49 plate appearances. He has three home runs, so that's very uh, very good for Almora on three home runs and about 50 trips to the plate. That's uh, that's really good power. That's very un Almora like. Uh, at the same time, Ian Happ has 56 plate appearances. He's only reached base total 11 times, and he struck out 14 times. He has a slash line of 135, 196, 192, with an OPS of 389. So if you want to put stake in the numbers, which you really shouldn't do in spring training, um, right. yeah, it's really, really obvious that Almora has grabbed a hold of that you know, pretty much everyday center field role. And uh, it just looks like Hap just kind of got pushed out and the Cubs are, they've said that it's all about accountability. Now it's not about potential. It's about, uh, you know, production. So I think it makes sense that they're sending him down to say, Hey, you have some things to improve on. You, you don't just have a big league job just because you were a prospect and you, you know, had a good 2017 season. You have to actually go down and put it together. So from that aspect, I think it's a good move, but you're right. I, I just don't see, you know, like anybody who thinks that Ian Happ's going to go down to AAA and just magically become great by going and playing against AAA pitchers, that's not going to happen. Exactly. And, and like you were saying here a little bit too, um, I mean, Ian Happ was pissed, um, to, to put it no other way. He was upset, and rightfully so. I mean, it, it, it's tough to – you know, look like you're a part of this team, be on this team for a couple of years and then get bounced back. But like you were saying, I mean, the Cubs are putting a huge emphasis on production. Um, obviously, Ian Happ has a high ceiling. He's a first round pick. He can play all over the field at this point. His value is across the board great, but where the Cubs absolutely need him is they need him to be efficient as a left-handed hitter. And I, I was reading Sahad of Shamra's article from The Athletic yesterday, um, and something we always kind of knew was there, but uh, putting the numbers to it, Ian Happ has been awful at high fastballs up in the zone from the left-handed side and that's supposedly supposed to be his better side his more natural side we saw a ton of pop from him in 2017 from the left side of the plate uh, but he's got a big hole at the top of his swing he doesn't seem to be able to catch the high heat or chase it sometimes when it's out of the zone that's something he's going to have to work on um he's just got to be a more complete hitter but for him to get playing time in this cubs rotation of outfielders or infield wherever you may be his best asset is him being able to hit from the left side of the plate with power if he can do that He's going to work himself into some type of platoon with someone and center, right, wherever it may be. But right now he's not doing that. That being said, going to Iowa, I don't know fixes that. Uh, maybe gets his confidence back. Maybe that helps, but he didn't seem like he was lacking confidence. But he was also striking out like the last two years. I think no one has struck out more in Cub history in a two-year period than Ian Happy. Struck out nearly 38% of his at-bats between 2018 and 2017. So there's issues there. I just don't know if they get corrected by seeing 
lesser pitcher than major league standard. Yeah. And the other thing that we should talk about before we wrap on this is the uh, roster implication. Um, Daniel Descalso has been hurt and I don't think it's guaranteed at this point. He makes the open day opening day roster uh, just because opening day is like three days away, but um, you you already had one open spot where you were kind of debating. Okay. So who grabs that spot? I think David Bodie is already on the roster. Um, So people were talking, you know, if, uh, if Descalso gets DL, does Mark Zagunas make it? Does Christian Adamas make it? He's had, a really big spring. Now you have this other roster spot. So you have a couple guys um, looking at the numbers, which again, spring training numbers, you can't judge, but um, the guy like Johnny field, he's hitting 308 with a 390 on base and a 538 slugging. He has four home runs and 59 plate appearances this spring. Um, Again, a lot of these guys non roster. So Zagunas who has hit well this spring, uh, just looking, he's, he's also got four home runs. 333, 400, 718 slugging. So big numbers for him. He's pushing for a roster spot. Maybe he makes it. But um, who else do you think has a reasonable shot if Ian Happ's not on the roster, which at this point he's not? No, he's he's definitely not. Um, Johnny Field has had a good season or a good spring training. So is Christian Adamans. I, I think I'm saying his last name right. Um, Ad, Ad, Adamas. Adamas. Thank you. Christian's uh, Christian's Adamas. Um, he's a guy that's played relatively well. He's a shortstop. Um, if the Cubs want to add in some infield help, I guess. But I, I think Mark Zagunis is probably a safe bet to make this roster at this point, especially now the Hap has gone down. Um, you're going to probably need someone that can be in the outfield as a, as a true fourth outfielder. I know you've got Zilbris, but I don't know if he's really someone you want in the outfield a whole lot. They've like teased David Bodie being a guy that can maybe play in the outfield this year. I don't know if that's something that's just going to happen right now. Um, but It'll be interesting to see. I know Descalso supposedly is going to be playing two innings at second base, two innings at shortstop at some point, I think maybe on Sunday or Monday, something like that, one of their final spring training games. So they're going to get him reps. It sounds like Descalso might make that roster, um, which I'm surprised by because I didn't think there was enough time for him to really get a bats beforehand. But if I had to pick one of those guys, like I, I would take uh, Mark Zagunas has earned it. But um, so, I mean, there's a couple other options I guess you could go with, but Zagunas is probably the guy. Yeah, I think uh, being on the 40-man roster really helps him in that regard. Um, they, they wouldn't have to make a move to add uh, Zagunas to the roster, whereas they would with Adamas yeah. or Johnny Field. Those guys can just uh, go down to AAA and kind of bide their time. So uh, if Descalso is, in fact, on the roster, then I think Zagunas is the, is the one guy uh, who probably comes in and takes that Ian Happ spot, which... Uh, good for him. I mean, he again, it's about production. This is a guy who has a good bat. We all know that he can hit. We all know that he has a good batting eye. He, he gets on base. The main questions for him are uh, kind of suspect defense in the corner outfields, and he just doesn't hit for a ton of power, or at least hasn't yet. Um, it's possible that he's unlocked that power here in spring with the four home runs. So um, I'm not excited about Mark Zagunas, but if he is, in fact, the guy on the roster, you know, that that's something to keep an eye on and see if he's made those strides to become a real big league hitter. Yeah, that's that's really I mean, that's really the question here. Obviously Zagunis is Zagunis is a great piece, but you know, if they had Descalso, obviously, you know, that's probably that's probably the move. If they don't decide to go with Descalso, you might see a chance for some of some of these other minor league shortstops to get a chance, you know, like guys like Chesney Young could make sense. Jared Young too, I guess. I mean, but the guys that are hitting well in spring training, you would think are probably the guys that would get called up. So it's kind of where I feel like the Cubs may feel like they need defensive help because offensively, it's not like they're going to look to Mark Zagunas be like, okay, hey man, you think you could hit 15 home runs this year? <laughs> you know, so. Right. I mean, <laughs> You're our everyday right fielder and we're patting you fourth. Yeah. Well, what, what do you think about that? Huh? Um, so obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, that would be disappointing if that did happen, because that would probably mean something awful is going for the Cubs. But at the moment right now, I mean, I, I can't see Ian Happ being there longer than a month unless he's really struggling. Um, so I would assume he's back probably once the roster's healthy and they have all their options. But I don't know, just a strange move. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, it, it's it has its pluses and its minuses. Uh, if you guys who are watching uh, have strong opinions about the Ian Happ move, I know there were people who were like, good riddance, get him out of here, which is ridiculous. But uh, let us know what you think. Uh, go down to the comment section. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this stuff. Uh, click the subscribe button if you want to see more of it. And we will talk to you again next time.